And if you caught our summer weather safety special, we talked about the Gulf being especially busy with our long range cycling theory predicting at least five to maybe six systems in the Gulf of Mexico this summer through the end of September. One of those should be coming in between the middle part of July and the end of July. So we're going to watch out for that tonight. We're watching for a shower or thunderstorm still possible warm and muggy. Otherwise 87. If you're headed out to a baseball game, soccer match or something of that nature, please watch the sky. We could have a thunderstorm pop up and move over your location. Otherwise you're looking at low grass pollens and the allergy index on the mold spores is considered high. Right now in Nacogdoches, it's cooled down to 78 degrees after a thunderstorm moved through there. South southwest winds at five miles an hour. So what's going on here on CBS 19 radar? Five o'clock, here's what it looked like. We have this little line here. This is called an outflow boundary. The air at the top of the thunderstorms, of course, is colder and cold air is heavier or more dense than the surrounding warm air. So it sinks and it acts like a cold front. It's a mini cold front. And as this cold front or outflow moves northward, showers and thunderstorms develop behind it. So you can see one of those developing at Carthage. This is possible as this outflow boundary moves toward Longview and Marshall to see additional showers and thunderstorms over parts of northern Rusk County, northern Panola County, on up into parts of Harrison and even Gregg County. So keep an eye out for the sky, especially in those areas. Otherwise, here in Smith County, dry right now, that's a heavy thunderstorm, Trinity in Houston County, and that's moving away. Here's the latest on Elsa as it continues to spin and it's trying to become a hurricane. Look right here. This is convection or thunderstorms within the, the center of the storm. It is strengthening right now. And the National Hurricane Center predicts that by uh, tomorrow morning, maybe at about two or three o'clock in the morning, it briefly becomes a category one hurricane and then it makes landfall just north of Tampa sometime Wednesday afternoon. Our umbrella cast here looks something like this. Tomorrow, a uh, 40 to 60% chance of rain. So we'll put that at a 50% chance of rain tomorrow, 40% chance of rain on Thursday, and then Friday, a 30% chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms. Over the next seven days, we're not looking at a ton of rain, maybe a tenth of an inch. Some areas up toward Mount Pleasant as a cold front sags in over the weekend may get closer to a half inch or three quarters of an inch. Down toward Lufkin, that could be about an inch of rainfall. So some of us will get a lot of rain. Some of us will get a little bit of rain. Here's your Baylor Scott and White Texas Spine and Joint Hospital seven day forecast looking at scattered thunderstorms tomorrow. A 50% chance. Otherwise, it's warm and seasonably muggy. After a morning low of 73, we'll heat it up to 89. We'll do the same thing on Thursday. I think there's less of a chance of rain Thursday and Friday and Saturday. A front here Sunday brings us periods of showers and thunderstorms and a high of just 88. Monday, scattered thunderstorms are possible on a high of 88. And then it starts turning hot in the middle part of next week. We'll look at that in more detail coming up tonight at 6 o'clock.